New studies have revealed that um, what the media has been telling us, guys, I have literally a database. I collect the links for this stuff. There is hundreds of articles claiming EVs are less reliable by Consumer Reports. They're one of the most guilty parties. EVs are less reliable than internal combustion engine cars, they claim. People believe this stuff, and in as a result, people don't buy an electric car. Now, that's the idea, right? Slow down EV sales, the people who don't want you to buy one. Could that be legacy automakers who don't make a profit selling one or are being disrupted by EV manufacturers? Could be, could be. Anyway, EVs now last as long as internal combustion engine cars, says a new study, which is not biased. This study actually gives us some data on what's going on. And it analyzed over 300 million test records. Now, here's the thing. This is old EVs. And to be honest, a lot of these old EVs, they're shithouse. They're, that's just the truth. They are. They're crap. A, a lot of them, the battery life wasn't great. Uh, the battery management systems weren't great. Remember, right, the first manufacturer in the world, including Chinese manufacturers, to sell 500,000 cars was Nissan. So the first model of car to sell 500,000 was the Nissan Leaf. And that thing, it's not known for its reliability. It's not known for its quality batteries. And that, well, these test results, that vehicle is included very heavily in these results. And it really does show you that actually it's very likely if you include results post-2022, unfortunately, this study does not do that. From 2022 to 2024, I think you'll find EVs will last much longer than internal combustion engine cars. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If you'd like to become a member, I'd be very, very happy. And actually, it would help support the channel, help support the mission of the channel, which is just to get the word out there that, yeah, EVs do last as long as internal combustion cars. In fact, they last longer. I'll put a link in the description below. An extensive study analyzed over 300 million test records from 2005 to 2022 before finding that, well, actually, EVs last a very long time. In fact, here's what they said. This major study shows EVs can last as long as, if not longer, than internal combustion engine cars. Apparently, EVs offer more rapid improvements in reliability over gas cars. Now, we know that because software updates are much easier to do on EVs. My XPNG6, Tesla's vehicles, they have software updates all the time and they fix things, they provide you with new features. You just don't get that. Uh, a lot of legacy automakers, they'll say stuff like, Volkswagen said this a lot of times, we have over-the-air updates. You would think that the, you know how the um, US government goes after companies who have false advertising? That's false advertising. Sorry, but that's just lying because they say that then you think as a customer, oh, great, oh, I'm going to get over there updates. But the only way you can get them is by going to the dealership. That's not an over there update. That's a joke. So anyhow, getting back to the story, electric vehicles can now last as long and often are more reliable than comparable internal combustion engine cars. That's the conclusion of a new multinational study conducted by researchers from the University of Birmingham and the London School of Economics, which analyzed over 300 million records, including data, from 30 million cars. This is one of the biggest studies in human history. Quite amazing that they've done this. Published in the journal Nature Energy, the findings are an indication of just how far EV technology has come, says carscoops.com. Even so, the researchers caution that further studies needed to fully understand the long-term potential of these vehicles. The study leveraged anonymized MOT test data from Great Britain, for its main data set. And this enabled the researchers to look at records from 2005 through to 2022. Those records are detailed enough that they could infer when a car's life ended and what type of powertrain each car actually used. And as I said, it, these, this data is heavily skewed by the fact that a lot of these um, old EVs just weren't that good. It was like a, a new technology, which was very much in its infancy at the time. In short, the peer-reviewed study found that early EVs struggled to last as long as internal combustion engine cars. But at this point, they've already caught up. While EVs represent a newer technology that was traditionally less reliable back in 2005, between probably 2005 to 2018, they have rapidly evolved with the latest EVs expected to significantly outlast the average internal combustion engines 
within the same cohort. That's what the study said. It's not my opinion. That's what the study actually said. So if you want to rant and rail, well, I don't know, do it against the study of 300 million data points and 30 million cars. Yeah. One of the standard findings from the research is how quickly battery electric vehicles have improved in terms of reliability. The study found that for every year of production, the likelihood of failure dropped by 12%. So they got 12% better every year. A figure that's notably higher than the 6.7% improvement for gas engine vehicles and a mere 1.9% for diesels. But the study doesn't equate in, into this factor things like over-the-air updates that improve cars or fix problems and bugs. Uh, that is probably something it would, if it considered that, then considering uh, such a huge percentage of cars of EVs owned at this point in time are Teslas, it might change the outcome of the study a little bit. In other words, though, if you're considering an EV, the chances of it not breaking down are dramatically higher with every new model, making those early EV hiccups seem like a distant memory. The other point here is that most new electric cars now available outside of North America, so available in Europe, China, Australia, Southeast Asia, most of them now have lithium ion phosphate batteries. And they are traditionally a bit more reliable than NCM chemistry batteries, which are the alternative, like nickel, cobalt, manganese, lithium batteries. Lithium ion phosphate generally will last longer and have less issues, especially because LG Chem, the battery company with the most problems in the world, doesn't make lithium ion phosphate batteries. So if you ruled out all cars with LG Chem batteries, you'd find that these car rankings would be even more skewed in the favor of EVs. I've said on the channel many times, and I know people don't like this, they often unsubscribe when I say this, and I kind of feel bad saying this because I really like some cars with these batteries, but the truth is, if you buy an EV with LG Chem batteries, it's much higher likelihood. In fact, it's increased by at least a thousand percent you'll have a battery recall. I'm not saying it will happen. It's just far more likely, considering all the battery recalls in the world, more than 90% of the world's battery recalls have been LG Chem batteries for EVs. Therefore, if we just got rid of those from all this study, right, the reliability rankings would far outpace. I mean, EVs would be far more reliable than internal combustion. However, this is what the study said. Our findings provide critical insights into the lifespan and environmental impact of electric vehicles. No longer just a niche option, EVs are a viable and sustainable alternative to traditional vehicles, a significant step towards achieving a net zero carbon future. Co-author Robert Elliott, professor of economics at Birmingham University said, EVs offer significant environmental benefits, especially as Europe switches to a more renewable energy mix. Despite higher initial emissions from production, a long-lasting electric vehicle can quickly offset its carbon footprint, contributing to the fight against climate change, making them a more sustainable long-term option. Now, this higher emissions thing at the start, I don't really believe that's actually accurate. And the reason I say that is because most modern EV batteries will outlast the life of the car. That now means you have, on average, a 65 to 70 kilowatt hour battery, which you can use for energy storage, which you can use for recycling purposes. We, th those batteries are extremely valuable for re recycling. Black mass is the material that the batteries are recycled and, and it's called black mass. It's worth 10,000 US dollars a ton. It's basically worth what, it's, it's like gold. So that would then mean this, this, the environmental impacts will be significantly less because once you've refined and mined that lithium and the other products going into that battery pack, you don't actually have to do it again becomes like a closed loop cycle. And in most cases, the batteries will be reused for other purposes. So it's not quite what you think it is in terms of the negative effects on the environment just from the car's perspective. Anyway, getting back to the study, to quantify the progress, the researchers provided some hard numbers. A modern EV now has a lifespan of 18.4 years and can cover 124,000 miles before it quits. Now, I believe this is lunacy. Guys, I have an EV tracker uh, database. I've been following EVs and there is hundreds of Tesla Model 3s that have done more than 250,000 miles, hundreds of them. And the problem is there's not enough of them for us to know. We don't have enough that are 18 years old, but I can tell you now that it is the expectation of EV owners all around the world that your EV will well outlast 124,000 miles of use. This number is, is absolutely insane. 
Anyhow, the study says this mileage not only matches, but surpasses the average for petrol powered cars. In other words, petrol powered cars on average are getting less than 124,000 miles before they die. That's crazy. For comparison, petrol cars typically have a slightly longer lifespan in terms of years, 18.7, but they cover fewer miles, only 116,000, 187,000 kilometers on average. That is unbelievably bad. Diesel cars, by contrast, have a shorter lifespan of 16.3 years, but compensate with higher mileage, often reaching about 255,000 miles before retiring. Now, these are just average as of course, but my point is this. If you have a modern electric car, I believe the average lifespan of your battery pack is going to be around 400,000 miles from the numbers that I have seen. Now, of course, that won't be the same for every brand, but for good quality brands with good batteries in the cars, you're going to get at least 300,000 miles based on what I'm seeing from hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of data points. Anyhow, the study acknowledges that the community needs to continue researching the topic. For one, we're still somewhat in the early days of the EV transition. We don't know how long EVs will fare 20 or 30 years down the road, but we do know that um, in China, taxi owners who drive millions of kilometers or millions of miles, they're buying electric cars because they last longer and the batteries will significantly outlast the life of a comparable internal combustion engine vehicle. That's a very commonly known fact in China. Battery replacement costs are exponentially higher than similar component replacements in internal combustion cars, say the study. But that's not actually true. I've seen battery cost replacements recently, guys, and you can actually replace a battery in your car now for only a few thousand dollars. It's ridiculous how low the prices have gone. And you don't necessarily have to get a battery pack from the original, from the original, from the OEM. You can actually get replacement batteries from other companies from much lower prices. Anyhow, the researchers admit that some of the data included could be faulty or flawed because of how they are recorded. However, as you're going to see, EVs are actually more reliable than petrol cars today, than gasoline powered cars. But not only are they more reliable, they're also much, much cheaper to run. I mean, most EV owners barely use the brakes. They use their regen braking that recharges a battery. So for many people who have had their EVs for well past the life of this study, well over 124,000 miles, they've never replaced their brake pads. That's a huge, huge benefit. Many of them, in fact, a large percentage of EV owners only charge with solar, like myself, I only charge with solar. I never, ever charge using any other power source except when you go on a road trip, but that's, to be honest, not common enough. I mean, I'm not often you know, driving more than 550 kilometers in a drive, in one single drive, in order to need to charge elsewhere. So there's huge benefits, aside from the fact that EVs are more reliable. We also now know from another study that came out yesterday that on average, electric cars are safer. Based on 2024 data, uh, EVs have higher standard safety ratings across Europe, across Australia, and across China. EVs are safer, cheaper to run, they last longer. Anything else you need? Well, one last point here. A study that came out yesterday also shows that EVs are now, in the United States, only around 11% more expensive on average than internal combustion. In some areas, in some sectors, they're a similar price. But in countries with access to Chinese EVs, actually, we've already hit price parity. The revolution's here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.